today I have a very exciting video and that is connecting Google's VO3, which is the best text to video model that looks super realistic with the best no code platform N8N to automate these viral videos using an automation and an AI agent. I highlighted this Instagram page called Holy Vlogs, which at the time, just four or five days ago, had 30,000 followers. Well, if you look here, they're up 100,000 followers since I filmed that last video. Uh, for example, we have this one here, 350,000 likes. Here, so, mm -hmm. the king signed a law banning prayer for 30 days. Obviously, I prayed. Let's see how that goes. All right, guys, it's official. They're throwing me into the lion's den. I'll film what I can, Dre, and if I survive, this is gonna blow up. All right, welcome to my crib. That one's asleep, that one's just staring at me. Honestly, they're kind of chill, but I'm whispering because I really don't want to wake the angry one. Morning, folks. Still here, and they are too. That one's been staring at me since sunset. Starting to think they like me. All right, made it out. Thank God, literally. If you watch till the end, comment what you think, and hey, maybe I come back if y'all want part two. So that's a great example of the type of content that's possible with VO3. However, that was a lot of different clips stitched together, and it would cost a lot more to generate. Next, I'm going to show you this Yeti vlog page on TikTok that's already at 240,000 followers, similar to the last page. Google VO only came out like two weeks ago, so they only had this amount of posts to get there. And as hey you guys, can see, it's just a Big character Bo talking in a very specific vlog-like way that it makes it look like. real. <clears throat> that makes it look realistic and does well on social media like platforms. So quick plug, if you want some great ideas of viral niches to start and some documentation of other people that have gotten hundreds of thousands of followers using VO3, join my newsletter. I just started it and my first article is going to go over all of that. So normally to use VO3, you'll go to Google's Flow product. And as you can see right here, I just generated one. This was the caption that I used and I actually posted this on YouTube Shorts. I think this was a bad idea. I should have kept it closed. <laughs> So you can see how good this looks and all you have to do is type a prompt in this box right here and then you would have to have a subscription to be available. I think you can do it now on the $20 plan but you don't get a lot of credits. As you can see we have VO3 selected here, uses 100 credits and we look at the credit purchase it comes out to about $1 worth of credits and that's super important because the API model is going to be on a different cost system and it is going to cost significantly more. So that's one thing to note. So one other factor I wanted to go over and I covered this in my last video, but it was creating these VO3 shorts on YouTube. They're actually monetizable. And as you can see, it made a little bit of money on this one. I made a few dollars here and there on my other posts, but I just wanted to share that. So here's the N8N layout. And what we're doing is instead of using the interface of Google's flow, we are in the back end generating these videos using the same technology. So some of the advantages for this are you can have it, you can, for example, put a schedule trigger and have it generate a video in the morning every day. And then you could also link it up to your socials to auto post. Now it's a little bit dangerous doing that because you probably want to review the actual content before you post it. Uh, for obvious reasons, but there are a lot of more complicated routes you can go. This automation is extremely simple and it's just showing how to call the API to get you the video and to put it onto a Google Sheet. Uh, but the whole point is to do things that are a lot more complex to this. So I will be expanding it. However, I only ran it one time because of the costs and I'll go into the cost structure when we get there. Uh, but this is definitely one of those things that's more of a proof of concept. And once either the cost goes down or some better models come out, which could easily happen in the next few weeks, things will look a lot more promising. Okay, so I'm gonna break down this automation for you. You can do one of two things. You can either recreate it on your own, which I highly recommend because learning N8N skills are extremely valuable right now. Or two, you can just hit these three dots and do import from file. And I will be giving you the template file, which will have everything. And I will point out the steps in which you will need to replace with your own credentials. So the first thing we have is a trigger and that's just so you can click this uh, to start the process. Now one thing I'm going to note is um, block right here and this create video block I actually right clicked and I clicked pin. So what pinning does is it takes the initial output that is currently loaded in and it keeps that the same every single time. 
And that's specifically important because you don't want to run up a bill testing the automation or whatnot. You only want to run it when you have an output that you actually want. So if you're new to N8N, I highly recommend you watch some of my other videos. I'll have the top recommendation down in the description. If not, I'll try to make this as simple as possible. Basically, what we have right here is just this no code diagram where it just goes node to node and does your automation. It follows these little wires in which you can unwire and you can wire. And then when you click on one, you have the left side, which is your input, which is everything that the out that has been outputted by the previous nodes. And then you have your own output here. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have an open AI account. You're going to need a replicate account. You're going to need a Google Sheets account. And you're basically going to need to connect all of those. So I'll go really quickly um, through the nodes and I'll be explaining what you need to do if you import versus if you're trying to make it for the first time. So first we have a test workflow trigger, uh, which is the easiest one to test on. Like I said, you could replace that with schedule or something in the future. And then you just hit this plus and then you look up AI agent and you create this AI agent right here. And it's pretty simple. We have the prompt, which is just Bible character. So this is going to make a VO prompt based on a Bible character. And then we have, uh, we hit this little plus right here and then added this open AI chat model. Once we do that, we have, um, a system message, which you might have to play around a little bit with the settings, but you're going to want to get a system message to appear here. And you're just going to paste the one I have. You can create your own too. Uh, like I said, this will be included if you, if you import the template, but it's pretty simple. It's just a paragraph explaining the type of video we want. It's giving an example of one that I did that works pretty well. And then it's um, giving some more guidance. So then here we have the output that it created. And that is, you can zoom in and read it, but it's a description of a person and what they're doing and what they're saying. And this is a good VO prompt that we're going to feed into uh, the AI after this. So now that we have this agent, we're going to do an add to sheet, um, a Google Sheets uh, module. And then that is simply going to be adding it to a Google Sheet so that we can track it. And then here I have the Google Sheet, so you're going to want to recreate this. I'll have this linked. You can just duplicate it, but essentially it's just a column that says prompt, one that says status, and one that says URL. Super simple. So to add that to the sheet, you're going to have to connect your Google Sheets account. You can do that with OAuth. If you're self-hosted, it's going to be a little bit more complicated, but I'll have a link in the description if you get stuck here. You're going to need to do this if you import, obviously, because it's going to be modifying your sheet. So you're going to do append row, which just means add one more row. And then you're going to have to find the sheet and then, or the document and then the sheet. I just left a sheet one. And then all we're doing is dragging this output from the agent into here. And then for status, we're just saying to do, and then the URL doesn't matter. So all this is doing is, is once we run it, it's adding this line here, which will say, your prompt and then the status, which will be a to do until it finishes, then it switches to done. Um, and then the next one is just pulling from the sheet. So the reason why I did this is you could essentially unconnect um, all these modules by just hitting this um, to the wire and you could just run this over and over again, create a bunch of prompts. And then once you have the prompts you like, you can just delete the other ones and then it will one by one when you reconnect it, go through and build out your the videos in the order that you created them or have them on the sheet. So all this one is doing is it's the same thing. It's a module for getting the idea. You're going to be doing a Git row this time. Make sure you're connected to the right account. Same document. And then your filters are going to be, you're going to look for the status of to do. So it's going to get the first one, which status is to do. And that's important because if you run this a bunch, you don't want it to recreate the same video you previously did because I'll waste a lot of money. And then we just did one more thing where you mess around with the settings and you do a return only first matching row because you only want it to generate one at a time, um, obviously because it's super expensive. And then once we have that, these two steps are not required, but I just added them in for easy management. We get to the create video step. And this is where majority of the content is. 
So we're going to be using the replicate.com API. You can also do this on Fell AI and a bunch of other ones. And as you can see right here, the cost is 75 cents per second. So this is going to cost you $6 for every video, which is 600% more than going directly through Google. So that's why I don't really recommend you do this. I recommend you just manually do it through Google. But because this is a tutorial on showing you how to do it through NADN, uh, that's what we're going to need. So for replicate, you're going to need your API key. That's super important, even if you're importing it, because you're going to need to run it through your account. You're also going to need to connect a credit card. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, but I'll show you how the how the node is set up. So this is the create video node, which is just a HTTP request node. So that's what you would add when you hit the plus, just HTTP request. And then you're going to do method post. You're going to do this URL. It'll be linked in the document. And then you're going to need generic credential type, header auth. And you're going to need to give it authorization as the name. And you could rename this to replicate here because you're going to use it in the future. And then the value is just going to be bearer space your API key. And you're going to need to get your API key uh, through your account on replicate. So that's important that you put this in here because if you don't, it's just going to error out and you need it to be connected to your actual account. And then we're going to be doing sending body, JSON, and then using fields below. And then the name is input.prompt. Uh, we're, all we're doing is sending it the prompt. And then all I did was drag this variable, which you can just drag into here. And that's just going to send it this specific prompt and it's going to be dynamic based on uh, each time what it grabs. As you can see, I pinned this, so it's not actually going to run it again. It's just going to default to this output. And that's because obviously each time you run this node, it will cost you $6. So you really don't want to mess this up. And I was able to do this on one try because I pinned it. And then we've created the video, which is pretty much the hard part. The next thing is we're going to want to send it to a wait. You don't have to do the loop if you don't want. But I put it on one second. You're probably going to want to put it to something like 30 seconds. And it'll probably take a couple minutes. I think it took two and a half minutes for this example video. Um, but we're going to just loop through over and over again and check it every 30 seconds until it does finish. And once it does finish, you'll just put it onto your sheet and be done. So we're going to need one more HTTP request module. Just going to hit the plus there. And that's going to be get video. And what we're going to do is on the create video, you will have a git. You're just going to drag that URL into here for the URL. Then you're going to just make sure that you have your replicate account. And then um, it should be able to output the video. If it's outputted, it will say six, uh, status succeeded if it did. And if it didn't, it will say something like it's working on it. So then we have this if loop right here. And this if loop just has the status so we just dragged in the status from the last module and then if it's equal to succeeded then it moves on if not for the false you just loop it back to the wait and then for the true we loop it back to the final google sheet node the final google sheet node you have to set up the same it's just an update row this time same sheet and then what we're doing is we're taking the output which is this video file right here just dragging it in to um Oh, sorry, one sec. So we're just going to be dragging that output into the URL section. We're going to be changing the says to done. So we're just typing done here. And then for row number, we're just scrolling down to the to the node where we got um, the thing to generate. And we're just dragging that in here. So all that's doing is overwriting this row. It's now going from to do to done. And then it's putting the video link right there as it shows here. And then that's the entire automation. When you run it, the agent will come up with an idea, it'll add it to the sheet, it will then pull it from the sheet. These two are not necessary, you can just cut them out, but it is helpful if you want to test um, your things beforehand. Then it creates the video, and then it loops through until it's done, and then it adds it to the sheet. So that's the entire automation. And then I'll show you what my sheet looks like. So I can just open this and so I have my Google Sheet here and I ran it three times. One thing to note on Replicate is it will only last for a little while. So you're going to need to download that quickly. I highly recommend you do something like a 
um, download for that file and then send it through Telegram so you have it. But this is just a basic proof of concept really for anyone uh, that wants to change it. I don't really think many people are going to be using the automation in the way that I set it up. Um, but once you click on this link um, before it dies, it will load this. And this is the output that my bot generated using the prompt that the agent came up with. I'm calling down fire from heaven to light up the sacrifice. So you can see that output was pretty cool and you could probably string it with a few more to create one of those Bible uh, contents that goes viral. So if you made it to this part of the tutorial, you're definitely going to go far when it comes to AI automation. However, I highly recommend that if you want to try this strategy and grow a social media page, that you do it directly through Flow because those generations are going to cost you significantly less. I'm going to link the video below where I talk about structuring a good prompt where you get a good narration and everything you need to go viral. And I highly recommend you do that. And then again, the most important thing of all is coming up with a creative idea and theme and letting the agent make some cool stuff. So I'm going to give you some great themes that are getting currently tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of followers per week that you can copy and try to do better. And that will all be in my email list, which will be linked below. So please uh, make sure to subscribe to that. That will be the first email that I send out. And then second of all, if you like this video, please follow me on x.com slash mentor. I got a few hundred more followers over the last week, so I'm super supportive of all you guys. And then obviously, my number one resource is my Breaking AI Tools update Telegram page. I posted all the templates to my last contents or the ones that I didn't include. So I highly recommend that you join that there if you have a Telegram. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe because there will be a lot of more useful automations coming very soon. These technologies are updating every single week. We have so many other models and I'll see you guys later.